Well, good morning, folks. Welcome along to the frickin' vlog on a freezing Monday morning. Just painted this with some varnish. It's a door that's laid in front of me for the toilets. And uh, I've been outside, <laughs> took a reading. Four degrees outside. I've got a little heater on over there. It's up to six in here, I think, now. You probably can't see that, a bit of glare on the screen. We're up to six, six and a half degrees in here. Oh, it's toasty warm, I can tell you, it's toasty warm. So today's job is uh, one, recovering from yesterday's belated Christmas party that we went on. We went bowling, only freaking one dinner, yes. And uh, we'll pick up a few jobs that have been left last week, uh, like the door for instance. So we've got a bit closer with that, we've got the signs on it. So now it says toilet. And I've got the first coat of varnish on, so I can finish that off later on today. And then I'm also going to weigh out all the grains for some brew days tomorrow, Wednesday and Thursday. Just grab this brush. And uh, hopefully fill all the tanks up, give the new hose a, its first wet run, and hopefully we're not going to have too much of a steam issue with the new condenser flu on there. Now it's freezing cold again. So we'll give it another proper test run. Oh, and the false bottom, that's going to get its first run in. Which is all good! So I'll just finish this door off, nip upstairs and print out the recipes, and then I will be weighing out grain for four consecutive, three consecutive brew days. Ain't that the truth? Now I can't afford it this year because I've just had to pay the rent which is now almost two and a half thousand pounds for all the units that we've got a month and we've got to pay the VAT bill don't ask and I've just paid the duty bill which in comparison to some brewers isn't a lot but for us it was 886 quid so all of a sudden we've now got no freaking money left in the account but if I can find some steel or some money I would build myself a little wood burning stove in here and I'd get rid of a load of the timber that I've got stacked outside I'll clip you from the tripod and I'll show you exactly what I mean so I've been saving all this scrap wood because I thought well I'll burn it in the winter to keep me warm you know well there it all is the heck of a lot of scrap wood out there but I've got nothing to burn it on it's probably not a good idea to build a stove either come to think of it because we're in a uh, smoke free zone if emissions regulated zone, I think that's what it's called, something like that, I can't remember, it's been a while since I was on the website and checking it out, so I'm not actually allowed to just emit smoke, it has to be through a approved uh, burner, so a multi-fuel of some type, which recycles the exhaust gas, reburns the exhaust gas, a lot of people who've got them out there will know exactly what I mean, and then it sort of prevents you releasing any soot up the chimney and I've also got to install a chimney yeah and I've got a carpet shop next door and whenever I've had a fire he's complained so I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to make sure that whatever I do put in emits as little smoke as possible and if I'm gonna do it it probably makes sense not to I could have it in here to keep me warm when I'm working but if I could have it out there as well, or maybe have it in here and then just put a fan on to blow the heat out there on the coldest of days, who knows? I certainly don't. But if anyone can find one locally for me, a wood stove, a multi-fuel, I might even get that project off the ground this year. But I ain't gonna be able to pay a lot for one, unfortunately. Right, let's get these grains weighed out. Thank you. 
Right, Gemma's got the uh, car today. So I'm just about to finish off with these grains, or start with these grains. And I've got the remote desktop going on. <laughs> Listen to this. Right, I've got the remote desktop live at home. So I've got the PC at home, which I, is sat on the coffee table in the front room. And I've left a note on there. <laughs> I think this is ace. I've left a note on there for Jem. I wonder if we can see that. Yeah, but she's obviously not going to open the laptop. So what I've done instead is get the old Frank Crummit. Show me the way to go home. Playing in the background. <laughs> so she'll open the laptop and see my message. Hey, how cool is that? I just thought I'd show you that, so I don't have to ring her up. She'll think there's a ghost in the house and it'll freak her out. Anyway, we'll get the hot water geared up for tomorrow. Turn this bad boy on. Then we can make sure that the time is set. That'll heat the HLT for us in the morning. And then I'm going to start pulling sacks of grain off here, ready for the brew day tomorrow. And then I'm going home. I am freezing. I was extremely hungover this morning. <laughs> and, uh, well, I need to be fresh for tomorrow. And I've also got to do a little bit of accounting when I get home, so I'm afraid it's going to be a short one today. for the coconut shy, which I'm going to brew, grain for the bitter, and then next to Chansey Pants, we've got grain for the vacant, and uh, that should keep us busy for the next three days. We'll get them brewed up, the control panel's ready to go in the morning, we've got water in the HLT, we just have to weigh out the water treatment for it, and uh, get mashed in in the morning. I'm just gonna wait five minutes for Gemma and the kids to arrive, and I'm off. I am, short one today. Click, there's the door. So that, folks, is perfect freaking timing. Check it out. Hi. Hi. Let's go home. See you tomorrow. <laughs>